coming away again, reflecting from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboe. My name is Edith George, Pastor of RCCG Battles Court, based in Bexley, Kent, United Kingdom. Today we'll be reflecting on a topic called Revival Through Prayer. Revival Through Prayer. And our Bible passage is Hosea chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. It says, Come, and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath thrown, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud, and as the early dew it goeth away. Therefore I have ahenged them by the prophets, I have slain them by the, word, by the words of my mouth, and thy judgment are as the light that goeth forth. For I desired mercy, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offering. Our memory verse, Hosea chapter 6, verse 2. After two days, will he revive us? In the third day, he will raise us up, and we shall live in sight. I say amen to that. Our reflection today, my friends and brethren, viewers watching this reflection, the Church of Christ in today's world needs an urgent revival. Things have gone pretty, pretty bad within the body of Christ. So much evil is being mentioned in the Church of God today. Things are getting worse and looks and seems there's no end to it. The world has entered into the church and the church also has entered into the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke and prophesied about a time that will come when the enemy will sow tears into the wheat farm of God. The tears will look almost like the wheat, but of course it is not the wheat. The reality today in Christendom is that there is so much tears on the wheat farm to an extent that one begins to feel that maybe the tears are actually the width, but the real width is the third. So the question there is, is there hope for the body of Christ in our days? In the book of Luke chapter 18, verse 8, our Lord Jesus Christ asked a question. He says, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? This question is begging for an answer in Christendom today. Again, I ask, is there hope for us today? I believe there is hope. I strongly believe there is hope. And the reason why I believe that is that in the past generation, no matter how bad things got, God always reserved a remnant for himself. For example, we talk about 7,000 years of Elijah the prophet who refused to bow their knees to bow. The Bible also says in the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 5, it says, even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Hallelujah. Beloved, would you like to take a stand for God and become part of the remnant for this generation? And the second reason why I believe there is hope is that with prayers, we can bet forth a revival. Through prayer, God gives us the opportunity to rule the world. He gives the believers, the people who are of the light, to rule the darkness of the world. Through prayers, we can bring the will of heaven to prevail on earth. Brethren, if only we dare to pray, God will cause a mighty revival to spring forth upon us, the body of Christ. Our action point today comes in the way of a prayer. Can I ask that you pray that and say, Father, Please revive us again. Fill us with a fire of revival for renewal and spiritual empowerment. And I pray that as you, as you have prayed that prayer, that the Lord himself will, will fill you with a fresh fire, with a fresh, a fresh zeal, a fresh zeal for righteousness, for holiness, for purity, in the name of Jesus. God bless you, my viewers. Until I come your way again, remain revived for him. Hallelujah.
God bless.